So we have seen how to generate a wrap application uh, you know, without any coding in our previous video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy the application into PTP. So let's say you have a wrap application and you would like to deploy this into your uh, uh, B2P environment. That's it, right? So what are the steps we need to follow? Okay, so for that I have created a very simple application here. So I will open it. So which have uh, just uh, employee informations. Okay, so yeah, so you will have some uh, employee related information. So very a simple application generated using a wrap generated function. All right. So currently it does not have any UI coding, right? And uh, it has only the backend like with the the, the data has been generated using uh, serious annotations. Okay, but in the in the uh, uh, in the production version, we cannot use it, and I cannot uh, share this information to, uh, you know, uh, any clients or something, right? So, so basically, we need a deployed version. Uh, okay, uh, that is what we have to use it in our uh, production or maybe even in the test system. Okay, this is for locally. It, this 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 whatever the uh, locally published will be uh, helpful to the developer to test the application whether it's everything looks good. Okay, so for this, what I'm going to what I'm going to do is okay. I have a, a business application studio, so where I'm going to, uh, you know, consume this service binding, okay? And I'm going to create a Fury elements, right? So for that, what you have to do is just click on this uh, icon. You will get a file, and uh, just click this new project from template. Just so it will load a lot of uh, you know uh, application, various applications. Just click the SAP Fury application. This is what we are going to create it. You have a lot of templates, uh, so I have used a simple list report. So I use this template. So under this data source and service selection, you have to select your uh, service binding. Okay, uh, if you are using any on-premise system, just make sure it is connected via cloud connector. So as I have already uh, uh, showing this demo in the web trial version, so I have already connected the trial version to this uh, BAS. So it is very important. Otherwise, you will get only this app environment on the SAP Business Technology Platform. You won't get this whatever the trial version is. All right. So I choose my trial version. So once you selected the system, so what it will go to do is whatever the service binding created, uh, you know, in this uh, app systems, it will try to retrieve and it will show it in your, uh, you know, uh, uh, in the in the template screen. So that is why it is taking a little longer. So just uh, give it a few minutes so it will be done now yeah okay you will have another option called service where you are going to select your service binding so my service binding is uh, employee data ofu so i'm going to give search based on this okay, now. yeah i have this you know uh, Employee more data go for. I select this. So once I have selected, uh, it's going to pick uh, uh, whatever the entities we were using there, whatever entity sets or associations. So that is what it's going to pick. So the next screen, you have to select the main entity. So what is our uh, you know list page entity? I mean, so I have only one entity, so I choose this employees. So you keep this option as yes and click on next. So then the next screen, what you are going to provide is uh, you know the query application related information. So uh, I'm just going to give one. Uh, deploy something and I'm just going to add a deployment configuration because we are going to deploy so we have to definitely add this option so in the next screen you are going to provide the deploy related information so the uh, target system is uh, you know ABAP that's ABAP system only we are going to deploy okay and your destination will be picked automatically if we even connected by our cloud connector uh, then you have to provide the SAP UFA ABAP repository this is nothing but your BSP application uh, object okay so you should provide some name here, like uh, deploy something. Make sure it is uh, less than uh, 15 characters. And you're going to provide the package and transport records where your this uh, query application is going to store, right? So for that, uh, uh, the packages is for me is, uh, is uh, Z wrap deploy. And my TR, if I uh, if I want to see the TR, you just go to this package. So just do a right click and you can show in the properties. So it will open uh, this information. Just click on the transport. Here you will get a request. Just do a right click and copy request number. That's it. So give it a help. So once it is done, uh, you just click on this finish. So it's going to be generate a Fury application. So whatever the information you have provided. Uh, so it will take a couple of minutes. 
so you can see uh, some uh, it is showing some dependencies and all okay so let it finish okay so once it is finished you will get this kind of overview screen okay so you can test this if you want just click on this uh, preview application so where you can select the start no flp so it's going to be a uh, uh, load the application uh, locally so we'll have the local host just click this so here you have to select index.html Yeah, so your application came now. Uh, this is what we have. Uh, no, uh, we have the data which, which was shown in the preview. So this is preview. This is your uh, testing the application in the theory screen. Sorry, from the theory generator. So there is a difference between these two. So what we are going to do is this is what we are going to deploy into our backend. All right. So so for this, just cancel this control. Sorry, control Z. Yeah. 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 Okay. So before that, I would uh, want you to notice here there is nothing called a PSP folder here. Watch out. Uh, so once you just uh, deploy it, you will have going to have uh, another folder called BSP or uh, related information where you are deployed. You know, this application will be deployed under this uh, BSP repository, right? So, for deploying, you just have to uh, first uh, build the application. So, here you could see there is something called node models, uh, there is something called web app, and then this web app, you are, uh, all the application related uh, content will be available, all right? So, first you have to build it. Once you build it, you will have some folder called uh, uh, disk where your application related will be copied. Okay, and that is what it's going to be deployed into our backend system, which means a web system, right? Just type command like npm run build. So easy, simple command. It has been built successfully. So once uh, it has been built, uh, you know you could see the list folder here. So so very well, uh, all the application related content will be available, right? So to deploy, just do npm run deploy. That's it. Just start deployment. Why? You have to click on this Y here. So it's getting deployed into the system. So, so this is the Z wrap deploy is our BSP name. Now what we have provided. Yeah, so the app has been deployed uh, and you go. So this is our public link where you can, where anyone can access this, uh, you know, this application using this link. All right, so, uh, so before, you know, uh, just showing this uh, application, I want you to check here the, you know, uh, deployed application version, uh, just do a refresh. Yeah, so you got a BSP application where we have provided an XZ app deploy. It was not that before, right? Which means your app has been deployed successfully, right? And okay, let's uh, test this application. So this is my you know URL where uh, my application has been hosted. Unfortunately, this is giving me an error 403 forbidden, which means I don't have enough authorization to you know execute this applications. So for that, what I'm going to do is uh, just going back to my package. So in this package level, okay, I'm going to create new object called IAM. So if you judge here, this is what you have to use it. IAM app. Just give, uh, give it a proper name. So IAM for you know our wrap deploy. Okay. Wrap deploy. And you have to choose application type as external application. Okay. Just click on next. Choose the transport and click on finish that's it so your IAM application has been created uh, so next thing what you have to do is you have to create a new business catalog and assign the application to it okay so this IAM is basically you know called as uh, identity and uh, access management so it will be helpful for uh, authentication and authorization purpose okay so I'm going to create a new business catalog so Click on next and finish. Additionally, we have to link this the new business catalog to our IAM. That is why we need to create this new business catalog app assignment. Just we are assigning our IAM app to this business catalog. Okay, so I am not doing anything. I just click on next and just click on finish. All right, just do a check. That's it. So this is assignment, a business catalog app assignment. This we don't need it. Just close this. Okay. Uh, just to go back to our IAM app, 
IAM application that we have uh, created. Just click on this services. We just need to add our service here. Okay. Just click on this insert button. So minus what it before, and I will uh, just to copy the service binding. Okay, so it will be under my business service node. So I'll just simply copy and give it that. Okay, once more, create before, just okay. So it has been updated, right? So once it is done, you just, just click on this publish locally. You could see the application is getting published. Okay, fine. Let it finish. Uh, I guess it's done. Maybe just try to reload this. So, yeah, that's it. So the app is getting loaded now with the same URL I was trying. All right. And if I click on go, so yeah, so you would be able to see the data we have. Right.